are picket lines across Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont tonight. That's because 1,700 Fairpoint communication workers are on strike. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill joins us now live from Portland to tell us why. Paul? This has been brewing since this summer. Months of failed contract negotiations. And finally, at midnight last night, these workers walked off the job, and now they're on strike. <laughs> It's come to this. Hundreds of people who work to make sure you can pick up the phone and make a call walking picket lines today. The majority of our workers have been around for years and years. We have t-shirts that say uh, AT&T, uh, 9X, Bell Atlantic, Verizon, Fairpoint. We've been through all the changes. Not one of those companies has ever treated us with the disrespect and disdain that this company has. They are shameful. They are shameful what they're doing to 2,000 working families. We can see our greedy side. Union leaders say they've offered $200 million in concessions, but they say Fairpoint Communications higher ups have been unwilling to accept anything less than $700 million in concessions. They say there's no, no way for them to move. They want all or nothing. They won't budge at all. They will not budge. Part of a statement from a Fairpoint company spokeswoman reads While we have implemented our final proposals, we have always remained willing to negotiate and have committed to evaluate and respond to any counter proposal from the unions that meaningfully addresses the core issues of these negotiations. So far, we have not received any such counter proposals. Fairpoint tells us, and the union confirms, that previous contracts included the company paying 100% of all health care premiums, unlimited paid sick days, a pension plan, and a 401k plan with company match. The company says the average worker in Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont had a salary and benefits package worth $115,000, a claim the union questions. We exchanged the chanting for street music in downtown Portland to run those benefits by some other people and get their thoughts. Never heard of any benefits like that. It sounds, uh, it sounds like a, a dream. A dream that some people say is worth striking for. Fighting to keep something that you already have typically is a reasonable stance. A Fairpoint spokeswoman tells me that the company is working to make sure that customers don't experience any service disruptions because of this strike. We called the customer service line twice this afternoon. Once we waited on hold for 15 minutes and got disconnected. We called back and waited for 20 minutes and got disconnected again. Live in Portland, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.